All right, thank you for joining us today. My name is Solomon Oluwa. Begin on this part, we are going to be looking at an important topic. By the way, this is Fieldpoint Ministries podcast, okay? We're going to be looking at practical steps for building healthy self-esteem and identity in Christ. Now, our today's guest uh, really did a wonderful job on the other side of the uh, live program that we just ended and there we looked at identity in christ embracing your true worth well on this side uh, we're going to be going into this podcast asking her to give us some practical steps that people can take that you know and you know our podcast is not that long so it's uh usually something you can listen to and be able to take action this one is not like the one hour that we just finished okay so i hope you continue to enjoy this and by the way feel free to share this with other people as well well our guest today is Tammy Ogulese. thank you so much for joining us on this podcast as well thank you for having me of course all right, very good. Um, we are looking at practical uh, steps for building healthy and self-esteem and identity in Christ. What would you say are those things that one can just listen to you right now and they can take action immediately? And uh, as people will say, you can start to get the results if you do that. What are those things? Over to you. Alrighty, so there are many ways to build your to build a health to build healthy self esteem and your identity in Christ. And I think one of the main things is to actually embrace your identity in Christ. Don't be embarrassed about what God has called you to do. Whatever God's purpose is for you, embrace it fully to its highest capability. Don't let anything sidetrack you. This is what I'm here for, and just be confident in what exactly your identity in Christ is. Even when it comes to just doing things like, I'm good at these qualities, like actually writing out your good qualities, what's your talents and asking yourself, like, how can I use these things on my purpose and on my walk with God? And are these things that I can, I feel like are gonna build my identity with them? God has created, has blessed us with a lot of talents and just embrace those things, embrace them and just try to find ways to connect them when it comes to your identity in Christ reading the Bible, reading the Bible. The Bible has all the answers to anything that you have ever wondered. Like there's always something, somebody has always struggled with something and I guarantee you that you will find a scripture or find something in the Bible that's going to help you along that path. And, you know, of course, strength of reading the Bible will also strengthen your identity in Christ in itself. Praying daily, pray to the Lord about your issues, come to God about your issues, come to God to fulfill the desires that that you want and what you feel like, you know, might be your purpose when it comes to your Christianity and your walk in Christ and just being able to identify certain things that you might be struggling with. Go to God. Um, another thing is you can also start off each day in prayer, start off each day in prayer, start off each day with positive affirmations about yourself, like affirming yourself about your self-worth in God, just writing down things that you like about yourself, starting off like, I am who I am. I know that God has a purpose for me and just continuing to always find positive affirmation and also giving yourself those positive affirmations. Sometimes I think it's easy for us to want to find affirmation and find validation through other people, but it's just important that in order for you to actually learn the healthy self-esteem, you find those things without, within yourself and you're able to tell yourself all of the good things about yourself. Even at the places where you struggle, like, yes, I struggle in this, but I know that I'm going to get better. Just always positively affirming yourself and not always feeling like you need to find affirmation in other people is definitely going to help with your self-esteem and even just finding your own your own um, identity in, in Christ. And, you know, actually serving, you know that this is what your purpose is. Now actually put those things into work. Faith without works is dead. So if that's what you're praying about and you have now found your purpose, Continue on that journey, just embrace it more and actually put those things into practice so that you can actually see those things come to fruition. Um, removing negative thoughts. It's very easy for us to cloud our own brains and our own minds with judgment and things that we are not doing right. Like, oh, you are not this, you are not that, and you are not this. But 
replacing those negative thoughts that you have in your mind in your mind with God's words. Like, yes, I might struggle in this in this realm, but I know God is always going to help me through to the end and help me to overcome this bad, maybe this thing that I feel like is a flaw inside of me and not to dwell on those bad thoughts. And of course, um, as we said in the in um the show, just like getting support, fellow believers, having others who have a same kind of mindset as you surrounding you to also sometimes where you fall, they uplift you. Well said, getting support from fellow believer, daily positive affirmation, prayer, and read the Bible. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow. <laughs> ah, well, very well said. Thank you so much for making this podcast a good one. I hope everyone who has listened. I mean, this is not, uh, you don't need to purchase anything. Uh, again, if you need a copy of the Bible, let us know. Uh, send us an email, info at philpointministriesinternational.org. We will send you a New King James version of the Bible or complete the form on our website, www.philpointministriesinternational.org. What she has just suggested, you, you can start right now. You can start to read the Bible off of the internet. You can download the Bible app to your phone. You can read it. You can pray. You can judge down what you learn. You can write out your affirmations for the day. You can, I mean, you can Google positive affirmation and start using them. Th these are not something you have to stay and wait and trying to figure out to do. These are the things you can do on a speed dial. You can be driving and pray. You can be driving and listen to audio Bible. You can be driving, you know. So it, it's they are not things that are that are not for uh, for all of us. This is what everyone can do easily. Well, I hope those who have listened to these that they will take note of those and they will run with it. Tammy, thank you so much for coming on today's uh, program, on this uh, podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, stay with me in the studio. I'll be right back. All right, to all of our viewers, I hope that you have enjoyed today. And if you are listening to the audio part of this, uh, because at one point the video will get out, but the audio will be on the podcast quicker. Uh, but if you are listening, I hope that you have learned something today. I hope that you have learned some practical steps, like they are basic practical steps that anybody can do. A teenager can do it. Even children that are not teenager, they can do it. They can read Bible for themselves. They can, they can, they can pray. They can write out their daily aff affirmation. Th those are these are the things that you can do without having to spend a dime. Just having access to internet, you will read free Bible. Uh, you will get an app where you can jot on if you need to write something. You can download Bible app for free. And if you need a printed fashion, let us know, like we say, and we will be glad to get it to you. Well, until we get to come your way again next time, I remain yours, Solomon Oluwabi. Until then, have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye for now.